In July 2014, the idea of a European Capital Markets Union was revived by the current President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, and was all in all positively received by stakeholders across the EU, although it remains to this day a concept under construction. I think Mr Mayor is absolutely right that we need to think about ways of making it easier for individual uh, retail investors to invest as well as uh, making it more attractive for institutional investors. To do that, I think retail investors need to have the confidence to know that they can invest and that there are products uh, in which they uh, can trust. Uh, but I think if we can find ways of putting the many uh, trillions of euros of savings that there are in Europe to better work so that they can be invested in projects that will support uh, businesses to grow, SMEs in particular. I think it would be good for the investors to have more opportunities for savings and it would be good for those businesses to have more options for funding. The aim is to establish a genuine single capital market in the EU where investors are able to invest their funds without hindrance across borders and businesses can raise the required funds from a diverse range of sources, irrespective of their location. And I think in the consultation paper today, that perspective is really lacking. So, for example, how are we going to attract retail investment back to the market, back to capital markets? One of the proposals that I've made was to really look at developing a, a pan-European pension savings product, which is really necessary. It allows for the creation of a pool of capital, which we allow to invest long term. And it will also enhance labor mobility in Europe. So I think it will be a good proposal to take on board in the capital markets union. I mean, you don't go in a supermarket. Uh, and buy dangerous products. You buy products because they are classified, the, uh, what's on the tin is what you buy, and if that, isn't that, if that is not the case, there are very heavy penalties uh, for those who try to sell uh, polluted food. So we ought to have the same theory and, and practice in the financial services industry. People have got to know what they're buying, understand it, uh, and then consume it. And that is not the case today. The Capital Markets Union should help bridge the gap between finance and the real economy and help restore financial markets' primary purpose of supporting and servicing the real economy. When a bank uh, tries to evaluate who is worth to get a credit, it is understandable that this uh, in, um, includes a cost. While when you have, say, a fund investing in shares and you demand from a consumer 1.5% of fees per year uh, of the fund, uh, then this is simply a form of organized robbery. And, uh, and I think uh, our uh, task here is uh, uh, to end this form of organized robbery. It's all about addressing what is in reality a market failure. People want to invest. They want to have better returns than the returns that they have on saving accounts in banks that are very low in the low rate environment that we know. But they don't want to take excessive risks. And when you're an individual saver, having a high returns or higher returns means taking risks. And that can be pretty bad. So we need to be able to address that market failure by providing for the missing link in the middle which is exactly this, I mean, a structured solution that allows to direct your investment together with others in a pool that mitigates risk. For the Capital Markets Union to succeed, individual investors and savers should be at the heart of the project. As stated by the European Commission itself, EU households are the main source of long-term financing for the real economy. So I think there's a very serious problem about how do we rebuild trust. And here's my final point, and this won't please everybody. For those who missell products deliberately uh, to older people, younger people, middle-aged people, or whoever, it should be jail. Jail. I, I am tired of listening to people's lives being ruined by deliberate uh, uh, misselling uh, of products. 
uh, or misperception of risk that is that is the problem right. because uh, people um, have put their money in cer certain certain uh, products that were presented that are almost risk free and then they ended up losing their their savings and this is this is very traumatic I think we have got to to organize a product long term standardized uh, guaranteed on which people know what they can expect from it and that they can trust. So like you, I know that Capital Markets Union won't work unless it works for those individual savers and investors. So effective consumer and investor protection will need to be at the heart of the Capital Markets Union. Despite this recognition, many claim that savers and individual investors are not natural participants in a capital markets union. Whereas this couldn't be further from the truth, they run the risk of being sidelined and dismissed by the future architects of the CMU as being too risk averse and short termist. I think the Federation of European Securities Exchanges strongly believes that we need much more direct retail investor participation. Already today, exchanges are the transparent and fair marketplace that is neutral and provides good price formation. And I think we want to increase that accessibility for retail investors. We believe it's very crucial to increase investor education, investor literacy, and I think to enable more direct investment into productive capital. Yeah.